All right, so I love Clark. We're going to read an interesting article I found in the Philadelphia Trumpet Magazine, which is absolutely free. If you want one yourself, check into it. It's real easy to find out how to get it. Philadelphia Trumpet. It's not always perfect. Nobody is, but they do have a lot of good stuff, and they're not afraid to talk about stuff that's real and racial. And are they racist? No, I don't think they are. But are they, do they get racial? Yes, they do. They're not afraid to talk about race. And here we go. Neither am I. So let's go. And none of us should be. Okay, we shouldn't be afraid to talk about race. Let's be honest. The deadly lie behind Black Lives Matter. The Black Lives Matter movement is founded on the false premise that racist police officers are selectively targeting innocent black Americans and killing them. Every 28 hours, a black person is murdered by police, said activist Cherno Biko in an interview with Fox News political commentator Megyn Kelly. It feels like we're in a war. If this statement is true, racist police are systematically murdering an average of three 113 innocent blacks every year, even leaving aside the charge of unjustified murder for a moment. This estimated death toll is more than double the actual figure. According to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, police killed 140 blacks and 386 whites in 2012. Over the 13-year period, from 1999 to 2011, the CDC reports that 1,130 blacks were killed by police officers. That averages out to 87 fatalities per year compared to an average of 165 whites killed by police each year for the same period. The number of blacks killed by police actually declined to 40% between 1968 and 2011 even as the African-American population rose by 22 million. While the death of even one person is a tragedy, almost any reasonable person will admit that police officers occasionally do have to shoot in self-defense. Given the extensive media coverage of almost every black American shot by police, most people are surprised to hear that Relative to whites, blacks are shot by police at a much lower rate than their involvement in crime would suggest. Adjusted for the homicide rate, whites are 1.7 times more likely than blacks to die at the hands of police, said the sociologist and former police officer Peter Moscos. Adjusted for the racial disparity at which police are felonously killed, whites are 1.3 times more likely than blacks to die at the hands of police. African Americans make up 13% of America's population, yet commit 38% of homicides. Between 2004 and 2013, according to the Federal Bureau of Investigation Statistics, 43% of people who kill police were black. Many black fatalities at the hands of police have undoubtedly been unjustified, have been justifiably done in self-defense. One study conducted at Washington State University confirmed that police were more likely to feel threatened in scenarios involving black people, yet the participants actually showed a bias in favor of black suspects taking longer to pull the trigger against them than against armed white or Hispanic suspects. No doubt there have been some cases of police officers shooting black Americans unjustifiably. Some of these cases may have been for racist reasons. Such isolated cases of police abuse are wrong and should be swiftly dealt with via the rule of law. The notion that racist police officers are systematically gunning down innocent black Americans in mass, however, is one of the deadliest lies in the United States today. The riots, looting, and police killings 
that have been inspired by the deplorable falsehood that black Americans are being hunted in the streets like animals are a tragedy, perpetuating the lie that police officers are systematically hunting minority youth will only lead to more violence. Do you guys get this? Read the statistics. Do you understand? Killed by the police. Even as the US, po U.S. population has risen and police-inflicted deaths have increased among whites, the number of African-American kills each year by the law enforcement is 40% lower than in 1968. There. Don't believe me? Now, there's more articles in this trumpet. So, this, is, this is a si side article to... Uh, this Black Lives Matter. Um, you can get free. Everything's free. One good thing about this this uh, Philadelphia Church of God, the trumpet, their magazine, the books, the CDs, everything they offer is free. But that's not the good, the best thing. That's like one of one of the good things. The good, the real good thing is about these people. You know what? They do their homework and they're not afraid to tell the truth in certain manners. What's right and wrong? Black and white. What's right? And uh, so that's what I like. They do a lot of their own homework. They do homework, okay? Their own homework. And they do good homework, okay? So it's not that... Because there's other people out there that give away free, all, all free stuff. There's other religious groups that give out all free stuff. But... A lot of that free stuff they have to give away because it's baloney and it's not good enough to sell. Uh, and uh, you know, it's a lie from the devil, but uh, so it's not worth it. But a lot of this stuff they've done a lot of good investigations and they are not afraid to tell the truth. Okay. Is that Love Clark? I thought I'd read this article. There's another one in here. And it gives us a little uh, bit of background behind the uh, Black Panther movement. And I might read that. thought it was interesting. But these guys aren't afraid to talk about what's real. And I thought I'd back up the cops this time and the police and say, you know what? These are the real statistics. I believe these statistics. And um, I feel sorry for the police. Uh, I feel sorry for you. I really do. I feel bad.